This tutorial will show you how you can generate annotation for genomic regions and use this information to identify potential regulatory targets of transcription factors. The program annotation and statistics here in the NGS analysis menu will give us a list of the neighboring gene loci for each genomic region in an uploaded file. As input, we will use a BAT file with genomic regions that simultaneously bind PPAR gamma and retinoic X receptor in developing mouse adipocytes. In this list, we select the mouse as the source organism of our genomic regions. Now we can select the uploaded file in this list. For the detailed analysis, we need to activate the next neighbor analysis option. In addition, I'll check the exon intron overlap and the promoter overlap. In this way, I can afterwards easily get the genes whose promoters or loci overlap with binding regions. This analysis will take some time, so I'll let the system send me an email with a link to the result when it's ready. Uh, here's the link to my result. On the result page, we get some statistics, for example, a classification of the binding regions. About 12% of the PPAR gamma RxR regions overlap with promoters, as only 2.6% of the mouse genome are annotated as promoter region. This corresponds to a 4.7-fold enrichment of binding regions in promoters. There are a number of different outputs for this analysis. The details for every region can be seen here. In the detailed next neighbor analysis, we see downstream and upstream neighbors, both on the plus and on the minus strand. Overlapping promoters and loci are also shown for each region. With this link, you can jump to the region in the genome browser. The selected region is shown as user sequence in orange. This PPAR gamma or XR binding region overlaps with a promoter, which is shown in yellow here. We can zoom out a bit to see a larger region. The promoter belongs to the ADHFE1 locus, as we can see here. For more details on the genome browser, please watch the dedicated tutorial that you can find on our site. The detail table can also be downloaded as an Excel or a text file. Again, we have a listing of the next neighbors in each direction on the plus and the minus strand and also summary columns for overlaps with genes, transcripts, and promoters. You can also download only the gene IDs of genes that have an overlap with an input region in the locus or in the promoter, or which are near a region in a window that you can specify. Here, for example, I can get the gene IDs of genes with a promoter overlap. Here's the list of gene IDs. To find out how you can learn something about the biology of these genes, please watch the Gene Ranker tutorial on this website.